up. So this going to be surviving Antonio Brown. But Robert Kraft, the New England Patriots owner, got a slap on the wrist. Tell me about how these double standards work in black and white again. Now, you wide receiver who's being falsely accused of stuff, and nothing's been proven. Even the chick is saying all she wants is to get compensation. You know, they ain't, they ain't filing no rape charges, but they bringing all this up. Bringing all this stuff up, ironically. All this is coming up. And yet, the owner of New England Patriots, who always acts like he's down because of Meek Mill and Shucks and Jive with Jay-Z and all that, who happens to be down with, but he happens to be down with uh, old racist Donald Trump, and is about his pockets. He got caught in a massage parlor during the AFC Championship game, which New England did come, which held on to beat Kansas City in overtime. But he got busted in a massage parlor, and he ain't had to do half the mess that Antonio Brown go through. But he got busted on video. And yet, yet, Robert Kraft got a humanitarian award. Tell me how does that work? Tell me how that work where you somehow get rewarded for your behavior and your actions. And they know they got you cold busted. But if you pay attention with the Patriots, and I will say this, Brady's the GOAT quarterback. I didn't really believe that flat football mess. That was funny. Bill Belichick, arguably the greatest head coach, even though that whole thing with videotape and everything, and, and, and the owner, um, I mean, the uh, Robert, Roger Goodell, the NFL commission, destroyed all the tapes. So that's always put like a mark. Some people from New England, they got an asterisk and all the pins. But their whole culture has been suspect with all kinds of things and kind of like wondering, you know, what to believe and whatnot. But why is it turning to an Antonio Brown surviving, you know, and why did he get all his baggage? Is this payback from the Raiders? Is this a racist agenda? Is it because he called that general manager for Oakland a cracker and this whole thing and taking a life of its own? I mean, it's got like a whole lot of connotations and it don't quite add up. How does it really get to this point? And why did the Patriots decide to cut him when they signed him to a $9 million guaranteed deal and act like they're trying to get him? And where's the loyalty with that, you see? The hypocrisy of the New England Patriots, you know, what's going on with this whole situation? That, and you're innocent to proven guilty, or you can't take the heat. But then the owner is called in a parlor. He gets slapped on the wrist, and he gets a humanitarian award. You know, he's flying... I got company time to go massage parlor, Asian massage parlor, to have fun. Where is the uh, behavioral hold up there? Where is the, you know, what, what, why is it always a double standard? And it does come down to black and white. Antonio Brown is a marked man. They're using anything to get at him right now. And I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and say Antonio Brown ain't got his flaws because stuff should be on the field. And he's done some suspect stuff. However, if you ain't got no criminal charges filed against you, you ain't uh, 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 murdering nobody, you ain't hurt nobody, and no one's filing no charges against you, why is he being cut from a team? Why is this? It didn't work out in Oakland for whatever reason. I can understand him wanting to leave there because Chucky Gruden ain't much as overrated head coach, and I don't trust David Carr. So... Oakland don't look like they're going to be about much or nothing. They look like they're going to be another. If they lucky to be 79 average, I see that. You, who would want to go to New England, what have you? But why did they bail on him so quickly? The, hip, the hypocrisy of the New England Patriots, known for having all kinds of stuff going on, known for having sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Now, they probably argue be America's team when you think about what the Patriots have had on their team with some of the players they had, and the owner. The owner, the coach, all of them got some stuff going on. We ain't even talking about Aaron Hernandez. We're not even going to bring up Patrick Chung's situation. They all done had some stuff going on. So, why all of a sudden, when they get Antonio Brown, it becomes surviving Antonio Brown, but yet Robert Kraft got a slap on the wrist. You see the double standards at work. You see what's going on. You know, the foolery, the outrageousness of this. And the racial double standard. If Antonio Brown ain't charged with none or nothing, that man should be able to play ball. But he getting his Negro wake up call. He getting it. He getting it like Kaepernick, but in a different way. But he getting a wake up call. They pile on. They come out the woods. This gold digging chick saving some text messages from 2017, buying some pictures. Ain't got no. Ain't got no criminal charge against him. Is all down with trying to smear him. Yeah, it sounds like a setup always. I don't be trusting none of it.
Because I'm telling you, Antonio Brown getting a wake-up call. Best believe this ain't by accident. This stuff is lethal. And it happens way more than you can imagine. So give me your thoughts and takes. Surviving Antonio Brown, but yeah, Robert Kraft got a slap on the wrist. The New England Patriots and their hypocrisy. And NFL's racial double standards. And before anybody mentions Kareem Hunt, yeah, notice he went from Kansas City to Cleveland, got an eight-game suspension. But even he's getting to come back. But they had proof and stuff where it was some strong stuff. There was no charges in this with Antonio Brown. So you tell, make sure you think about that. They pick on how they want to pick. You can't be too boastful with how they come at you. Feel free to hit that like, hit the subscribe, and the bell rings this new video. You have a good day. I'm out. Peace.